So first off, we're just going to dive right into XLOOKUP. We're going to start with our formula, XLOOKUP. And we'll open it up with our open parentheses. We see we have a number of different criteria we have here. So first is our search key. And so I'm just going to click on B3. Hit comma for our next criteria. So our next one is our lookup range. And so this is the column or potentially the row where we want to look up our key. So that be right here, comma again, result range. And this is the value or the text we want to return for our key. So I'm just going to select J. And then if I hit comma again, you can see these brackets that shows for optional criteria. So we actually don't need to use any of the optional criteria for an exact match. So if we simply hit enter, we have three criteria, our search key, our lookup range, and our result range. And we end up with our correct result there for standard. Click on business, you see 119 for business and 159 for enterprise. So I'm just gonna do a quick comparison to VLOOKUP. For those of you using Google Sheets, this is probably what you've been using instead of XLOOKUP. So again, search key. This one, you'll notice there's only one criteria for range and you have to select the range that contains both. And then the index, which is the column you want to return. And then this is sorted, which is false for exact match. So this is the formula you have to use in VLOOKUP to achieve the same results that you have here in this XLOOKUP. So we can use one less criteria and the lookup and the result range are separate, which makes it a little bit easier to assemble. All right, so let's go ahead and run through this missing value real quick. And then we're gonna run into match mode and search mode in a little bit. So missing value, if you select something here like elite, it gives you an NA error. And so XLOOKUP allows you to simply specify Hit comma to simply specify what you want to happen if the value for the search key is missing. So we can just hit no results. And there we go. And so it just shows a quick comparison and if you look up, we would probably handle this with an if error and done the same thing. Now, however, XLOOKUP allows you to do it within the formula itself.